Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm super excited to share with you guys that I matched into an internal medicine residency program. A little backstory about me. I'm from India and I graduated from Zhejiang University, which is a medical school in China. I started medical school in 2015. First year is pre-medical and then we start our medical subjects from second year. So I started my USMLE preparation properly in 2017. And I took step one in 2019 October and step two in 2021 March. I remember last year this time, that was when I took step two. I thought, okay, I'm done with this exam and now I'm all set to apply for the match. But honestly, while going through the whole process, I realized that studying for the exams was like the easiest part of the whole thing. Writing your CV, getting through paperwork, getting LOR, going through interviews, waiting for interviews, and then putting your rank order list. This entire process was way more draining than studying for the exams for me. Like most schools outside the United States, my university didn't really provide any mentorship or guidance for the USMLE. So there was a lot of things that I literally had to learn on my own and just figure out as and when I kept moving. So I did not have a lot of seniors who went through this as well. So it was pretty hard. For example, MSPE. My university never really had an MSPE, so I had to explain to them that this is the format, this is how it's supposed to be done. I think that is the major reason why I created this YouTube channel and for March 2023 and all the upcoming years, I want to share everything that I learned from my experience, give you guys like checklists and timelines and stuff so that you know you're on track and so I'll be here for you guys and guide you with weekly videos and answer all your questions so that, so that I can make this process at least 1% easier for you. All. The hardest part was to wait for interviews. This interview season was virtual. There was a lot of interview holding, which meant that people were not cancelling as much. So it became pretty hard for like visa requiring candidates. So the last few months ever since we submitted edits in September, I have not been doing well at all like I have been very anxious and very sad and I was just questioning everything and not feeling good about myself and I didn't like the version of myself that I was becoming and since I did not have any seniors in the United States networking was like much harder and I was at my all-time low in the last few months I feel it was rock bottom for me I was so clueless and I just didn't know why things were not working out and yeah it was a terrible time and after a few weeks I was like I don't have any more hope I don't think things are gonna work out so I just thought let's be smart and start focusing on plan B because I was like anyway this thing is not gonna work out right so I was like okay let's just you know we have to move on so I started working on plan B so that's why even on match Monday I was like if I match it's fine and if I don't it's still fine because I have to just continue working on plan B like I have to confess that plan B was, was definitely not exciting as this but I knew that I had to do something to move forward I can't keep holding on to just one thing right just with the hope that whatever hard work I put in would probably help me in some or the other way in the future so that's the hope I had and that's the kind of mindset that I got myself into eventually so that's why even on Monday of match week I was like if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't but still having said that I wouldn't say that I was not anxious at all I was definitely anxious because I remember one day before match results I took part in this photo walk because they really needed to get my mind off this so the entire Sunday just went off in all these outdoor activities and then the moment I came home again my anxiety just shot up I was like okay match results tomorrow match results tomorrow I was checking my heart rate with my oximeter and it was so high and I did not know how to calm myself down I was just like trying to be like okay you know you'll be fine you'll be fine you'll be fine but but you know you just have too many thoughts and you can't help it so basically match results come at 9 a.m eastern time which is around 6 30 p.m in india so after waking up the only thing i was able to focus on that day was to count down how many hours and minutes i have until i get that email so i was just waiting i was just like okay we have nine hours eight hours seven hours and it kept going on and on and on and finally at around six i opened my laptop and i opened my email app as well so i was sure that even if i got the email i wouldn't be able to open it i'll probably ask my dad to open it so i was just trying to meditate and calm myself down so i was sitting at the dining table and my dad was sitting over here so during math season like your interviews can come even in the middle of the night and early morning even at like 4 a.m and stuff so i signed into my yahoo account on my dad's phone as well so in case i'm sleeping and there's an interview invite early in the morning my dad can like sort of schedule that interview so my dad also had this 
thing opened on his phone so um can you see this yeah so this is basically maybe i'll just put an image here so the subject is 2022 main residency match results from the nrmp website since it looked like this when my dad just refreshed it he could just read it out here it said congratulations you have matched and he didn't even have to open it the results came 2 minutes earlier so around 628 my dad got this message and he was like issue you matched and i was like oh my god i was so shocked cuz Honestly in the last few months I had given up all hopes I thought this was done and dusted and and all the statistics were like so against the probability of me matching so uh it so it just felt unreal like I couldn't believe it I was like we did it man <sighs> then it just feels unreal even right now for the first time i actually cried tears out of happiness crying out of sadness i cry very often but then for happiness i think this was the first time i was just full of so many emotions i still can't forget that was like a priceless moment and then i saw the email on my laptop as well so my first instinct was what if they send this to me by mistake you will also be able to see your results on the nrmp website over there also it said congratulations you have matched now i'm like okay fine now i'm like reassured i spoke to my best friends contacted my lor writer spoke to a few relatives and that was completely celebration mood you know more than happiness i i was just relieved because it's like around 5 plus years of work has like finally gotten me the results that i wanted like whenever i achieve something a lot of people just say it's your hard work that paid off it's your consistency your discipline but i genuinely think that if i'm able to do this work it's all because of the support system that i have like my father has been like my number one support every step of this process he has gone through with me and even during the last few months when i was going through a terrible time he was always there for me and listening to me although i was telling him the same things over and over again. again about how sad i was feeling but he was always there for me saying that things are going to work out we are going to figure something out how i shouldn't let just one email decide my self worth it was just so encouraging i'm also grateful for like all my friends who have like totally been there for me even at uni they used to even feed me dinner when i used to be like let me finish my anki cards before sleeping and stuff like that friends whom i could call up last minute and be like can you please help me with printing this and they've all been so sweet and so understanding and especially my juniors and some of my friends who helped me with all the paperwork i was not at university during my easy fmg certification and stuff so i had to request my junior to go and help me out with all that and she, and she was very kind to help me with everything and my cousins and uncles and aunts and all of them who have prayed for me and genuinely hope that i succeed and above everything i'm so grateful for having each one of you like you won't believe it in the last few months when i was going through this terrible time some of you all sent me a message saying that i really pray you match i hope you match i hope you match into your top choice you're always in my prayers and stuff like that and that was so precious to me there's someone out there who wishes good things to happen to me sometimes all you need is one nice message to brighten your whole day up so y'all have a bigger impact than you think you do i i'm so grateful i love all of y'all here's like a big hug to my entire support system i feel like i'm able to do what i'm able to do only because of all of these wonderful people so yeah i feel now it's time for me to give back so i have a few video ideas in mind which i will be posting in the coming weeks and if you have any questions or like even if you feel it's a super silly question please ask because i am someone who was with a million silly questions because i had no one to guide me so don't worry we're going to figure this out together please let me know all your questions in the comments and any video suggestions i will be happy to do all of them so please don't forget to subscribe because we'll be talking about a lot of things about the match so that's about it for this video thank you for watching and i'll see you next time